Hi guys and welcome back to Eccentric XIV and this is the Fallout 4 Let's Play on Survival with Reese Wakefield from The Purge. Last episode we cleared out half the top of the building and now we're going to go in and take on Core Vega Assembly Point. <clears throat> A lot of raiders need killing right about now. So we'll take this down because we'll get some screws and shit out of that right now. Right, right, right. And... Apparently a massive grenade is just going to go off out of nowhere. I'm pretty sure no one knows I'm here yet. But uh, we're going to carry on. Yeah, that's all I've done. Oh. Never turn your back to me fella, because you'll die like a... I don't know, looks like it's dead. Oh, fucking hell, these raiders are well stupid. Okay, there's a couple of them there. I know there's one behind me as well. I can remember them being there. Let's crank this back up and get this bad boy dead. Go on, dog meat. Get out there. Hopefully he's not on the floor. We've still got our um, <coughs> our power suit on. Um, just, guys, just stand in the corner. Right. Raiders are really handy. They always carry stempexes. Smart people. Except when they have to use them. Just to let you guys know, to show you it is still on survival. I'm not seeming changing any of the difficulties or anything like that. Uh, so... <coughs> Down the stairs we go. Right, let's here. Last time I played through it, I didn't come in that way. It was uh, so that kind of threw me off a little bit. I come in, I was like, whoa, wait, 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 wait. Smash his head off. His. Oh. That is Stimpex in that way. He survived. Good boy. Right. Pick up all the ammo and shit that we can. There we go. Apparently the pipe is so stronger than this. Right. Let's go upstairs and get these guys deaded. <coughs> Gotta change weapon, we'll run out of ammo. Right. Auto rifle. Auto rifle or auto pistol? Right, let's grab a couple of packets of cigarettes in there. <coughs> Alrighty then, so we got Bodies over here. All right, so they're already shooting at me. Spot right there. He's there. Ooh, dead. All right. Click, 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 click. I'm not being shot. At. Right, let's carry on. And the spotlight is dead on now. Should really take it out, but uh pretty sure there's nothing in there that we can do. Don't know why that's there. I don't know it's probably just, like the decoration of the shield and shoot them. <laughs> oh I hate getting caught on shit. Right. <clears throat> Up the stairs we go. Let's see if we can try and take it from a different angle. I think the bridge is the only way we can get across into that building actually. Um, but we can take care of the machine gun fire without getting shot from here. So that's exactly what we're gonna do. By the way if you hear me sniffing a lot it's because I've got a cold at the moment. Bloody freezing out there over the last couple of days. It doesn't want to take any damage does it? As well, I don't really want to use the stimpexes if I can. If I can help it, <clears throat> I've got to stop pressing start to get out of my big boy. It's never been start. Oh, the accuracy was so bad. Jarred. <laughs> like it. Jarred. Pretty sure that was a suit. 
ammo box, ammo, ammo, ammo crate, ammo crate, ammo, ammo, ammo crate, ammo crate, yeah, right, <clears throat> so, now what, uh, yeah. Grog, Grognark the Barbarian, lovely, so that was Tales of the Junk Town Vendor in episode 3, and then Grognark the Barbarian in episode 5, starting to collect them magazines, We'll have to, uh, I'm not too sure, but I'm, I think once you found them, that's it. Like, you get that stat permanently. So if you wanted to uh, put all your comics up for show and stuff, I think you can do that. I'm not too sure. I'll have to go and test this. Or, we'll just carry them all around. I don't think they'll weigh anything, so it's just a, a bit of a pain in the eye. I don't know if you escaped my sights. I swear, these raiders just come out of nowhere nowadays. Switchblade, knuckles, switchblade, knuckles. Only a fucking coward eyes! They all carry around the same shit anyway. Which is why I like them, because then you know what you're gonna get. Alright. So that's Jara taken care of. There's a couple of enemies down there. Let's go and take care of these. Oh, no. Ooh, hello. Get out. They're on their way to me. Oh, get out. Alright, uh, got some Them welding goals look weird on them raiders, man. Okay, so let's loot some ammo, get the Molotov, and go and attack the last three. There's three more down there. We're up here. It's weird how it says we were on the same level, not up, not higher, not lower, and then all of a sudden it was that good. Definitely up there, but I think it changes as soon as you hit the bottom of the stairs. As soon as you start climbing, I think it just changes straight away. All right, where is this other radar? Nothing around here. I always do this on this bit, can kind of get lost of where I'm going, and then I just don't end up doing it in the end. Let's go back out to the Commonwealth. I'm pretty sure this brings me up to the roof. Oh, door chained. Mahogany baseball bat. Lovely. Alright, so yeah, it brings us out to the roof. Oh, no, side of the roof. Oh, I see where it is. Yep. Come on, dog me. Why are you walking so goddamn slow? Alright, so it looks like it's going to be up the stairs over the bridge. Or, oh, at least there's don't have to cross the bridge. It's always good. Right, let's take out the other side of this um, this rooftop now. Hopefully, we can get a bit more loot out of it. Let's just check see what's in here. There we go, jet and buff out. Lovely scalpel. Don't really need that. Cotton yarn, baseball. I'm pretty sure, like, because I found baseball grenades, so there's got to be a way to craft them into a base. Uh, craft them into baseballs. Um, Craft them into baseballs, craft baseballs into baseball grenades. But how to do that, I am yet to figure out. Oh, nearly missed this room. Mento cycle. Right. Blue, red, red. Ammo chest. Or oh, fucking box or whatever. The AJ come with gears as well, so they're uh, they're good. I'm not sure whether it's a gear or it's gears that you need to build stuff. They've got like um, one of the same thing for two. They've got one gear and one gear is one you can actually build stuff out of. The other one's just junk that you break out down into steel but I'm not too sure which one's which at the moment. So there doesn't seem to be any enemies. I might have already uh, cleared them out. Just gonna swear see if anything over here. Check underneath all the pipe works. You can never leave any stone unturned. Oh, there we go. Fucking someone shooting at me. Uh, great power was out. Alright then. So, I think we should drop that one side out. There he is. Oh, I'm not getting out of the suit just to, until I know it's safe to get out of the suit. Because uh, I know as you exit the suit, you can still be shot. And you can be shot. Fucking dead out of the suit. Go on, dog me. Rip his head off. Good boy. See, treats would come in handy right about now. I'd give him six. Just been shot at again. 
Where are you? Ugh, moving so slowly. See him? See your flash, bitch. You should get this across that. Oh, to my right as well. I don't know whether they're coming down the fucking route or uh, whether they're just staying there shooting me because they can see me. Oh, I'm for 50. Is it 50? Um, 20, yeah, so that's 50% health at the moment. So we'll, uh, I don't need to heal just yet, but it would be nice if we could move a little bit quicker. I might have to exit the power armor suit in a bit. But uh, at the moment, you know, it's doing its thing, it's protecting me, even though we're uh, missing both arms and both legs. The chest will probably go soon. We will make it up these stairs. One at a time. Is that a spot, mate, or is it just a light? No, I'm pretty sure that fucking all the people in the building are dead anyway, so they haven't got no backup on their way. Yeah, you're gonna die. Alright, so he's gonna get shot. Again, 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 again. Alright, I think I may need to heal. Ooh. Didn't realise that, I picked up a, uh, a different sort of drug. Where did I just get shot from there? He loves it. Thing. Where is it? Oh, is that his legs? Yeah. You're not gonna last very long up there, friend. Just get a pain in the ass. There's another one over there. Once we've actually got the Vega down, and you know we're not dying left, right, and centre again, we'll um, we'll be all right. I think preparation might just be the key to this. Oh, there is. I think he was expecting me to jump down as quickly as I did. What the fuck can I not hit him from anywhere? I hit the other one from underneath, so why can't I hit this one? Fallout 4 logic. It's probably just me not shooting through the hole. Let's climb up these stairs at fucking snail's pace. Straight, we may be moving at snail's pace, but we're safe. Or at least our head is. Uh, Definitely uh, this confusion cause. Uh, head exploding. Alright. Okay, we've got the squirrel bites. Pipe auto rifle. Pipe, auto, pistol, pistol down, pistol. Right. Suit down there. Pretty. Oh, there's an enemy over there towards the northwest. <coughs> and come back. Have fun. No, let's jump over here. Alright, guys, and by the way, um, at the end of the video, stay tuned because um, I have a little surprise for you guys and uh, I think you might like it is to do with Fallout 4 hey look at that radar I just dropped because I jumped on him so yeah guys remember to keep tuned at the end and uh, you might be pleasantly surprised from what you might find mm -hmm. thought I'd get into the Christmas spirit of it alright so we can't go through there oh door there. Open. Anybody out here? Right, I'm getting out of the power armor now. Just fucking doing that, then. We are going to move quicker than... Maybe we're not. Jesus. Oh, I'm only two over the limit, that's alright. Said no driver ever. Um, right, that's cool, let's go. <laughs> I know I just put my power suit there, but honestly, I shot myself. I thought it was another thing. Oh, great. A radiation storm. <coughs> Our rights are going to go up. 
I think the uh, the the rad the rad storms are a nice little touch. I think they only last for about an hour or two hours in game time, but uh, you know they're a really nice touch. Where if you're outside, you can gain rads from uh, being exposed. Where the nuclear disaster has gone all the way up. Let's raid this bitch. Ooh, bubble head. There we go. Lovely. Ah. There's a little clue to what uh, my little surprise might be for you guys at the end of the video. Right, let's just see what else we can drop. Drop some of that leather shit. Come on, dog meat, let's go. We can run again. Come on. Right. Downstairs. I think that might be everyone dead. Fucking hell, plus 10 rads from that one. I think it's because I'm really high up, and so I think may maybe the higher up you are, the more red you uh, take on. I'm not too sure. Alright, let's keep going. It's a long and twisty road. I had my power suit with a fusion core in it. I'd have to jump down. So keep it a clean radar. That's good. <laughs> I kind of flew in, didn't I? Really got to be careful when I jump down the sides like that. Right, let's enter this. I'm pretty sure you can still fast travel while you're in the suit. Um, only one way to find out, Mark. We'll try that in a minute. Let's just double check this little bit down here before we head that way. Turn my light on for some reason. Right. Here we go, hopefully we can. Lovely. See, who needs fusion cores? <laughs> Unassigned people at settlements will automatically scavenge for the resources you'll need to build things. Excellent. So if you don't assign them to like, you know, produce or something like that, then yeah, they'll do that. But when I try and assign people to it, I always find that you get like kind of lost with who you've put where and stuff, how many times you've spoken to that person, moved them about. Ah, uh, look at Jun Long. I hope you find yourself. Fucking kitted out. Jun Long kitted out. That's right, dog me. You say hello to him. Alright, we're gonna put this armor in here. We'll probably repair it real quick if we've got the materials to. Alright, oh yeah, I forgot we had the uh, Power Raider stuff on with us. Yep. Yeah. Right, so we've got enough materials to be able to put it all on. Right, there we go, let's equip it, and there we go, there's our suit back. Lovely, lovely, lovely. I know if you paint them with um, the Minutemen paint, you can get an agility increase. But uh, I don't see the point right about now. Alright, so this is where I'm going to store all my armor for everyone. Take that down by one piece. I need mine still on. I think probably this time round as well will probably be a good time to start getting the settlements built. Um, now Corvega is out the way. That fucking place was a bitch. And now we've got a few level ups, we probably won't. I'm not gonna say it. I'm not gonna say it. Not this time. Right, so we're gonna go and have a look around and see what we need. And what's down here? I'm pretty sure. Ah, oh, I haven't looted this place yet. I probably thought I would have thought it was one of the first things I would have done. Um. <coughs> Brad Roach down, so we're gonna, by the way, if I haven't, if you guys are new to the channel, um, when I kill, uh, like, obviously enemies and we're playing on survival, I'm gonna be, uh, stealing all their meat off of them and then, like, I'm not gonna eat it until I've cooked it, so if I have a proper meat that I can cook, that's what I will do, I will cook it and then eat it to get a bigger H HP bar out of it, cooking pot right there, so I'll move that later, um, I'll go check this building. 
I say no loot rounds here if I have them? Oh, definitely don't recognize that. It's a very lovely uh, front room. Pretty sure that this building here used to be ours. Grognark, oh, by the way, there's a Grognark the Barbarian thing there. You can't miss it. And do not forget your special book like I have. So, if I can remember correctly, I think Endurance was the one that we said we were going to upgrade. So, we put that on that. And we've got two level ups to go. Yeah, it was Endurance. Lovely. Agility is a bit low, but we can get that up with uh, a couple of levels. When we've got nothing to uh, help us get through or something, then we'll uh, just upgrade that. Alright, let's see if we've picked up any more weaponry off of people. Uh, we've got 10 millimeter. Just chuck these all in it. Yeah, that glow sight is pipe or oil pistol. Let's go in there. I'll sort it out in a minute. Right, yeah. Nope, double barrel, wanna keep, wanna keep. Um, put one in there. I'll definitely keep a submachine gun. Ah, I'll keep that tactical one and get rid of that. There we go. Alright, lovely. These are the perks that I've got at the moment. So, as you can see, I found two of the barbarian ones, which is brilliant. Which is the one obviously you find right at the beginning and the one that we found this episode. Right, what do I want to upgrade? I'm not really going to be using chems, so I probably won't get the chem resistant. Ooh, locksmith. We haven't been able to unlock anything yet, but when we get Kate, we'll be able to do that. I think Cap Collector might be the good one. There we go. We'll get that one so then we can sell for better prices to people. Because uh, we're going to collect quite quickly. So we might as well upgrade the uh, basic basics. So let's just quickly do some alterations to uh, our wad guns. So the hair trigger receiver is further down. I like that. Um, yes. Yeah, let's keep that one there. I don't want to pipe rifled. Harden, does that do more damage? Harden does more damage. Hmm. Yeah, let's just we need more damage at the moment just to drop people a bit quicker. Upgraded. It doesn't sound any different. <laughs> I thought it might have given it a bit more of that. Boom, boom. Obviously not that slow, but I just wanted to make sure the fire rate wasn't too bad. Like, so it's not too bad at all. So let's put a reflex up on that. There we go. Let's see what this reflex sight looks like. Pretty sure it was the right one to do. Everyone's just standing around. Mind you, I haven't given them anything to do yet, so I'm saying. Right, so we've got squirrel bites, red robes, 22 bobby pins. We'll never run out of bobby pins, that's for sure. Right, I think it's about time we built some beds. So let's break down all this stuff that we've collected at the moment. Just drop all that on the floor quickly. What the fuck that's man ago? Bastards. Still got that baseball. I did say I wanted to keep that baseball, but fuck it. It's now on the floor. Break all these down. I hate it when you pinpoint it and it's like, nope, we're not on it. I clearly am. Let's break down this shit. Nope, don't want the bed out yet. There we go, so that's all the adhesives. Double check that nothing under there is of the same colour. Because often you do drop something that's the same colour as the floor and then you don't see it. It's annoying. 
but hey, shit happens. <coughs> I've got some mods here. Um, yeah, let's put the mods back in the weapon thing. Because then that way, if you put your, um, just a hint, if you put your mods back in your workshop, you can always, like, switch and change them as and when you've got them. Because every time you build it, build a mod, it, um, you know, it takes off the new one. It doesn't dismantle it, it doesn't change it or anything. Let's go and... Oh, hand in our quest. That was the one. <laughs> the core Vegar quest. These guys should be happy that they wouldn't be getting any more trouble from those fucking raiders. I won't be able to either. Uh, laser musket combines high tech energy damage with mole rats. Often travel one. Fucking rude. I was reading. Oh well. Alright. Um. Ah, this is done. I can never find a door on this one. I always end up like walking around the hut before I find the door on the right side. They're usually inside, so ah, there she is. She's tending to her tadles, her tadles. Yeah, I took care of them. No kids. That's the best good boy, Reese. We've had around here for a good long time. So we've been talking. We decided if you came through for us, we'd join up with the Minutemen again. If we want things to get better, we've got to start helping each other. So we're in. You can count on us if you need help down the line. Thanks again, friend. Alright, so now we're going to have to go and talk to Preston. And that side of the thing's in. And he'll probably give us another quest to do. Ah, so now... I think we'll fast travel back to Sanctuary. Alright, so we've got five people living at Sanctuary now. Astoundingly awesome tales. Attack of the Fishmen. They, is that was that their take on my larks before it was out right so guys that's the end of this don't forget to stay tuned for the um surprise at the end um don't forget to like subscribe and share um i'm also on twitch at twitch.tv forward slash eccentric xiv and twitter at eccentric xiv so thank you guys for watching you've been a pleasure and don't forget wait for the surprise Hi guys, Eccentric XIV here, and I've got a surprise for you. Okay, so it's just been Christmas, and I've been shopping around, and I've got an idea. So, on episode 10, I'll be posting out a Twitter feed, um, and by episode 10, how many times I've died, the first person to comment on my Twitter feed will win themselves the Charisma Bobblehead from uh, Fallout 4. Yeah, you can take a little bit of a better look, it bobbles. Bobblehead, bobblehead, bobble, bobble, bobblehead. Right, so that's my one. But this, guys, this could be yours. So remember, wait for the competition. As soon as the competition is out, might win yourself one of these. And then once you've commented, I will get in contact with you, find out your address, find out where I need to send this thing to. Make sure if you are under the age of 18, do you get parents' permission um, to be able to give out, you know, the information for your address and stuff because, you know, it's meant to be private. But, uh, yeah, guys, so remember, keep an eye out for episode 10. Bye!